Hello everyone, it's Adam here. Uh, we're gonna be installing the Enduro Engineering rear disc guard, isn't that beautiful? Nice whale fin um, on the uh, 2016 Beta RRS 500. Uh, it's a little naked right now, but this is a whole week of modifications and maintenance, so I just have it torn down to nothing. I bet I'm giving OCD people a scare by having all these beautiful socks for sure but having all these beautiful nuts and bolts just laying on the floor like that but um, I have a method of my madness so uh, we're gonna get started there's instructions in here I'm gonna get started on this and I'll follow back with you guys in a second uh, I'm new to this bike this kind of bike and thank goodness for the enduro engineering uh, trail axle tool <laughs> this is something to order whenever you're buying some stuff from them because this thing is super helpful already paying off all right wheel is off so um steps where i loosened up the caliper here and then removed the wheel rear um locking nut here with the tool if this is the first time you've ever done that doing this i had to hammer the crap so basically i locked it up here and then hammer from up top to uh, get this thing off i mean it took about three rotate or one and a half rotations with the hammer before i could finally hand loosen it uh, and then from there you move the the wheel forward towards the body of the bike. That gives you some slack in the chain, loosen the chain up and the rear wheel comes right off. And uh, here's our uh, loose carrier right here. On the inside, it looks like we've got, so next up, we're gonna be using the uh, flathead screwdriver here to remove this uh, brake plug, just like that. Then we're using a uh, five millimeter Allen to actually remove the uh, brick pen clips right here. Now we've uh, literally just slid this off, so now the uh, caliper itself is off of our OEM uh, rear brake carrier in the rear. And I'm starting to see where this is going. Our fin here has everything that we need to, uh, to proceed here. So starting to see the, uh, how this is all coming along. So we've moved from our original carrier. There was a pad stop right here. Uh, we've moved that over to the EE uh, shark fin right here. So that pad stop is now there. And it would appear that I'm gonna need to remove this piece here also from the carrier with a 12 millimeter wrench. So we placed a little bit of grease on this carrier here, and we've slid our uh, the boot on the front slider right there. So now we can, uh, I would think, slide this. All right, so now we've pushed the brake pads back in, put the slide slider back in there, push that up a little bit against the pin so we can get uh, that through with no problems. And now make sure you're torquing that down. Um, I got a little bit of a gap right here. So make sure that you do what you can to eliminate that gap so that you're not getting any crap in there. Before we put the wheel back on, here's the finished product. So in short, uh, flathead screwdriver backed by a five millimeter Allen, pull the pads, unscrew this here, um, then pull this guy off. And then once you remove the wheel, then you can uh, yank the OEM carrier right off. Boom. Remove the nut that's in here, the rear slide carrier from there and transfer it over to the EE um, shark fin. And then remove the, um, the pad carrier that's right here in this little slot that's shining and move that also over to the EE. And from there, uh, let's get the axle back on and see how it looks, but there's the uh, the bottom right there looks super super cool it won't be this clean ever again everything came together okay it's my first time putting a ch chain motorcycle wheel back on uh, not that bad I actually ended up um, leaving this here turned around so I can push this as far forward as possible then I started the chain up here and then let it basically catch and work its way around so there's a protector right there. 
it's not moving at all. It goes just past the rotor, like right, right past it, you know, just a smidge. Um, oh, it's solid, really solid. Uh, the brake carrier itself seems to slide just a little bit there. Oh, sorry, you can't see that. So I might go through with the bolts and just give it a little bit more of a a uh, finale. But other than that, I'm I'm pretty happy with this with this job here. Uh, I think the the biggest difference between this and the other one was that the other one kind of threaded into the carrier a little bit differently. But uh, that's the other carrier right there. But should get the job done. Love this thing. This is cool. So easy install. I mean, most of the work was just me being a first timer. Uh, taking a, a wheel off a chain bike. So, uh, it looks great though. Really, really low cost and uh, super simple. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Enjoy. Good luck.